ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರ ಸಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಮಧ್ಯ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ इस समय हमारे साथ उपस्थित सभी दर्शकों और भक्तों का मैं प्रेम एवं आशीर्वाद सहित स्वागत करता हूँ आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू विथ माई लव एंड रिस्पेक्ट आई वेलकम ऑल द डिवोटीज डिसाइपल्स समाजीज सत्संगीज सिटिंग विथ अस अराउंड द वर्ल्ड दिटीज सिटिंग विथ अस in two way video conferencing vancouver british columbia seattle chidambaram kuala lumpur toronto ohio prayag houston kalahasti oklahoma somanatham guadalupe rameshwaram los angeles arunachalam charlotte sri sailam varanasi jorpati nepal ओकोटोक्स कैनडा मुक्तिकानंद सियाटल ओमन शिवगंग इंद्राणी न्यूजर्सी सैनहूसे मधुरई ईस्ट लंडन यूके मुंबई चंबूर देवोन यूके हैदराबाद गुप्तकाशी हांगकांग सीरगाड़ी दुबई वैद्यनाथम सैंडियागो लहोया Singapore, Singapuram, Enriching Temple, Bidhi. I welcome all of you with my love and blessings. Before entering into today's satsang, I wanted to announce yesterday, more than thousand missed calls we received. thousand eight hundred and seventy four missed calls we received yesterday we will be sending Bhagavad Gita books to all of them and I request all the people who sent the missed call please send your addresses also our enriching temple staff also will call you and get your address to dispatch Bhagavad Gita books and if you see anywhere in the internet social media satellite media print media electronic media in any media if you see any news abusing Hinduism Hindu gurus Hindu traditions, please send the news report to editor at hinduismnow.org. This editor at hinduismnow.org, if you send the message, we will give a clear logical reply and enrich them not to abuse Hinduism. And you can also send even news articles promoting Hinduism, enriching the world with Hinduism, editor at hinduismnow.org. So totally 1,878 calls we received yesterday, 684 we answered and today the remaining people, we will be getting their phone numbers. We will get their phone numbers and address and start sending Bhagavad Gita. We will be shipping at our own cost. We will be shipping the Bhagavad Gita at our own cost. I will enter into the satsang. I will start today's satsang. I wanted to expand on power of living. Life itself is a power. It is not punishment. 
human beings who feel that they are not able to achieve what they want to achieve through the life they feel life is a punishment it's like a your ideas and reality when they don't match you want to be really 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 peaceful joyful happy wealthy healthy but your reality is completely agitated irritated all spare parts are not functioning in poverty your expectation about life and the reality when that does not match you feel life is a punishment life is a curse please understand life is not curse if your expectation is not become reality it means you have not taken the responsibility for life you have not harnessed the power of living life is a power living is a power please understand your words are power because constantly the words you utter towards yourself becomes a reality about you the words you utter towards others raises the others energy if you utter the right words it raises others energy positively towards you if you utter wrong words it raises their energy negatively towards you you can make somebody touch your feet or cut your head by the words you utter the words you utter can make people touch your feet or cut your head so listen the words are really 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 powerful there was a gathering in front of a sadhu one poor man came to that sadhu and asked oh baba sadhu i have health issues i am sick please heal me sadhu blessed let you become healthy let you be healed he uttered that word see all over the world there are multiple religions judaism christianity islam hinduism buddhism in christianity itself multiple segments all over the world there are multiple religions same way all over the world there are multiple atheist traditions the atheism of karl marx is totally different from the atheism practiced in different countries i tell you the atheism of materialists atheism of communists the atheism practiced in us is totally different from atheism practiced in russia atheism practiced in china is totally different from atheism practiced in japan so in atheism also there are multiple religions and traditions just like believers of god have multiple religions atheists have multiple traditions as no logic why he denies the superior power it is not that i accept the western concept of god or one single autocratic god i am not saying i am accepting that concept all i am trying to tell you is the most baseless atheism ramasamy is atheism ev ramasamy is atheism 
is the most baseless atheism I have ever studied. Why there is no God? Ask them. No, no, no. We don't like Brahmins. So whatever Brahmins do is wrong. That cannot be a base for atheism. Come on. Use your brain little and talk decently. When they, see, whenever they speak, any idea they try to convey, they will give 20 solid reasons. If they want to support government or if they want to oppose government, if they want to send a, any idea or message to the society when they give a statement, they will give 25 supporting logic for their conclusion. But it, when it comes to atheism, all their logic fails. And the funny thing, you know, they deny only Hindu God. They don't have a problem in going to Ramjan. They don't have a problem in going to Christian institutions and praying to Christian God. They have a problem only with Hindu gods. Baseless. This kind of one atheist comes and that fellow starts screaming at the sadhu. Oh, if you utter one word, let you be healed, that fellow will be healed or what? This sadhu just looked, at, looked up this atheist fellow and he said, you idiot, you don't know anything, you are a mad, why are you here? That's it. That fellow started going crazy. He wants to prove he's a loser. <laughs> Screaming. Furious. Started jumping. Then that sadhu said, Sir, now you listen. Just my one word can make you mad. Then why? Why not? My one word can't heal this guy. <laughs> if my one word can make you mad, why not my one word can heal this person? Power of words. Understand. The words we utter has its own power over us and over others. Same way, the thinking we have as power over us and power over others. The feeling we carry as real power over us and power over others. Same way, our life itself is a power. Only one life populated the whole earth. In Hinduism we call Manu. It's all, it all started from one life. Now, whatever you see, the whole humanity is from one life. Power of life. I can give you hundreds of examples for power of love. A small story about power of words. Liar says, now that you have been acquitted, will you tell me honestly, did you steal the car? Client said, after hearing your amazing argument in the court this morning, I am beginning to think I did not steal, sir. <laughs> Listen, power of living, I just wanted you to understand about power of living. Life can do anything. It can build any, anything. It can do anything. But you need to recognize you are alive and your living is power. By everyday breathing, either you accumulate more wealth or more poverty. By everyday breathing, Either you accumulate more wealth or more poverty. 
by everyday breathing either you get healthy or you get aged by everyday breathing either you are moving towards death or towards immortality but life is not noun it is a verb it is a movement it is an action you continue to move either towards immortality or death towards health or disease tomorrow you will be more healthy than today or you will be more sick than today tomorrow you will be more happy than today or more sad than today but there will be change tomorrow than what you are today because life is not noun it is a verb it is a movement it is a action now it is up to you to make what you want from today out of today what you want in tomorrow please understand today is the investment for tomorrow many people tell me future is a promissory note past is a bounce check present is present i tell you present is a present for investment it is not for keeping it in your locker or storing you can't store that is the truth you can't store present is a investment for the future it is your decision it is you who has to decide it is in your hands to decide how to use this power of life i tell you when you don't have intelligence when you don't have clarity when you don't have knowledge the worst punishment is giving you power and freedom it is like give a child a rifle or gun if you give the gun or a rifle to a child what it will do it will either kill itself or harm others life is a power and if you do not know if you do not have the intelligence to handle that power it is like you start driving the car but you don't know how to stop it how to apply brake unfortunately in the life you are already put you don't learn driving and start driving in the life in the car you learn driving and then start driving in the life you have to learn on the road the moment you realize you don't know how to live you almost lived half of your life and you are on the road some people don't realize till the end aaj mein jeene ki shakti ke bare mein vistar se baat karunga jeevan swayam ek shakti hai jeevan ek dand nahi hai जो व्यक्ति जीवन से अपनी मन चाही वास्तविकता नहीं पाते हैं उनको लगता है कि जीवन एक दंड है एक अभिशाप है यदि आपकी इच्छा और आपकी वास्तविकता बिना है भिन्न है तो समझिए कि आपने अब आप तक जीवन का उत्तरदायित्व नहीं लिया है आपके शब्द बहुत शक्तिशाली है अब जो शब्द दूसरों के प्रति उपयोग करते हैं उनके द्वारा आप लोगों को अपने चरण स्पर्श करवा करवा सकते हैं या तो फिर अपना सिर कटवा सकते हैं प्लीज लिजन लाइफ इज अ पावर if you want to discover harness the power of word 
లివ్ ఇంటగ్రిటీ ఇఫ్ యు వాంట్ టు హార్నెస్ ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ థింకింగ్ లివ్ అథెంటిసిటీ ఇఫ్ యు వాంట్ టు డిస్కవర్ అండ్ యూస్ ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ ఫీలింగ్ యూస్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ ఇఫ్ యు వాంట్ టు యూస్ ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ లివింగ్ డిజైర్ టు ఎన్రిచ్ with integrity authenticity and responsibility i tell you whenever you enrich others and you life happens in you you experience power of living i can give you a very simple truth just go on go on go on go on go on enrich others in your life i tell you best things of the life will be showered on you from morning till night let the enriching be your thinking let the enriching be your feeling let all your words be centered on enriching i tell you you will understand the power of words go on uttering the words which enriches others go on thinking how to enrich yourself and others go on feeling how to enrich yourself and others i tell you align you are living to enrich others even if you are working in microsoft understand you are enriching people just understand clearly in your thinking you are enriching the people don't have the self doubt complete with it even if you are weaving the cloth you are enriching somebody with clothes even if you are doing agriculture you are enriching somebody with food even if you are working in the army you are enriching your country with security so whatever you are doing you can understand you should align yourself realize how you are enriching others i tell you understanding whatever you are already doing is enriching and expanding your life in the line of enriching will make you realize the power of enriching only one person a terrorist cannot align his actions with enriching a terrorist can never justify if you are not a terrorist then be very clear all your thinking all your actions all your feelings can be aligned to enriching whole day remember very clearly you are living only for enriching life is for others i tell you the moment you convince your heart life is for others all the sufferings living in your heart leaves you all the suffering now you know even if somebody is suffering because of you it is because of them not because of you it is because they do not know about life they are suffering not because you contributed to their suffering the initiation into enriching is what buddha calls sanyas please understand initiation into enriching is what buddha calls sanyas i tell you initiating you into the power of living is what i call 
enlightenment jivan mukti living enlightenment i can give you tons and tons and tons and tons of evidence i can give you tons and tons and tons of information i can give you tons and tons and tons of example just look around everywhere power is available everything is available when you decide to enrich others if you decide to hold nothing is available even what you are holding is not available to you when you decide to hold even if you hold billions of rupees in swiss bank not only society doesn't get even you don't get to use it holding denies even your existence to you i tell you whenever you start this holding as a pattern first thing will you, your stomach will do is constipation really i am telling you please understand your stomach is your first child whatever you say it believes listens obeys your liver is your student whatever you repeat he listens and practices please listen whatever you even say casually jovially your child will listen whatever you repeat again and again your student will listen your stomach is your child your liver is your student if you start thinking to yourself holding is the right thing possessing is the right thing first thing your stomach will do is constipation because your stomach will start holding second thing your liver will start doing is building fat because even your liver starts feeling insecure it feels for future i have to store it it allows the fat to be in your body so this too starts all diseases and aging process in your life please understand what i am talking is one of the very important hatha yogic secrets how your mental setup directly affects your health person decide to hold decides to possess decides not to enrich not to associate your life with world with humanity person who disassociates the life from the humanity creates diseases inside your own system when you continue to enrich when you decide to enrich when you decide life is for others all the greatest things are showered on you and continues to get showered on you whether it is wealth or power or intelligence energy everything is continuously showered on you hamari soch hamari bhavna sabhi swayam aur dusro par bahut shakti shali aur prabhav shali tarike se prabhavit karte hai jeevan ek badi shakti hai jeevan kuch bhi kar sakta hai kintu aapko samajhna chahiye ki jeevan ek shakti hai aur aap us shakti ke sath jeevit hai jeevan mein har pal parivartan swabhavik hai aapke haath mein केवल यही चीज विषय है कि आप आज के जीवन के कल का कैसे निर्माण करते हैं जब आपको 
बुद्धि नहीं है स्पष्टता नहीं है ज्ञान नहीं है तब आपके हाथों में शक्ति होना सबसे बड़ा अभिशाप है जीवन की शक्ति का यदि आप उपयोग करना नहीं जानते हैं तो ये इसी के समान है कि आप सड़क पर गाड़ी चलाने का ज्ञान पाए बिना ही गाड़ी को चला रहे हैं हर दिन सवेरे से शाम तक हर पल अपने जीवन में लाभान्वित करने के शब्द सोच और भावना लाइए आप देखेंगे कि आप अपने जीवन में चमत्कार लाएंगे अपने हर कार्यों में यह बोध लाइए कि आप उस कार्य द्वारा विश्व को लाभान्वित कर रहे हैं जब आप यह बोध पाते हैं आपके जीवन की सभी पीड़ा अदृश्य हो जाएंगी लाभान्वित करने की दीक्षा को ही भगवान बुद्ध सन्यास कहते हैं मैं कहता हूं जीवन जीने की शक्ति की दीक्षा है जीवन मुक्ति की दीक्षा है द फोर्थ इनिशिएशन यू आर गोइंग टू रिसीव इन द इनर अवेकनिंग लेवल फोर इस जीवन मुक्ति दीक्षा द आप्यायन दीक्षा द इनिशिएशन इन टू एनरिचिंग प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड Deciding to enrich yourself and others is a power. It is not moral. I am not asking you to do this as a service or a moral. No, anything which is moral or service, humans will never do. And I am not asking you to do some service. when you decide to enrich yourself and others i can say that is the best selfish decision you will make in your life please listen i am using two words best selfish decision that is the best selfish decision you will make deciding to enrich yourself and others aligning yourself to enriching is the most best but best selfish selfish decision you will make i am not here to tell you do some selfless service do it because it is right moral you will never do and i am not interested in talking i am not interested in using the words which will not move you if i don't move you with my words then words are waste useless then i disrespected saraswati then the power of words are not used properly i am telling you all my words always move the listener because i talk to your being हमारे चौथा स्थाई इन अवेकनिंग कार्यक्रम में आप जीवन मुक्ति की दीक्षा को प्राप्त करेंगे हमारे चौथा स्थाई इन अवेकनिंग कार्यक्रम में आप जीवन मुक्ति की दीक्षा को प्राप्त करेंगे द फोर्थ लेवल ऑफ इन अवेकनिंग यू विल एक्सपीरियंस द इनिशिएशन इन टू एनरिचिंग प्लीज लिजन every one of us know the joy when you give it to others when you give when you share when you enrich the joy you feel all of you know but you always have a conflict if i give away everything what will happen to my life i need to hold something to run my life this conflict will be removed it will be completed with enriching initiation you will understand even your exhaling is giving you will understand when you inhale you enrich this body when you exhale you enrich all the trees by releasing the carbon dioxide 
required for the trees. Every moment you will be enriched. When you know your life is far enriching. The power of words. You achieve the power of words through integrity. You achieve power of thinking through authenticity. You achieve power of feeling through responsibility. You achieve power of living through enriching. Essence of today's satsang. Life is enriching. You just need to align yourself to it. Life is enriching. You just need to understand it. Life is enriching. You just need to look into it. Let you all achieve, experience, live, express, radiate, share and explore in eternal bliss. Nityananda. Nityananda Dhyana Peetam, Nityananda Nagar, off Mysore Road, Bidadi, Bengaluru. Phone 08027279999. www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifebliss foundation